I would like to show you any safety equipment that should be used. Most importantly is the goggles. Secondly, you should use an apron. And lastly, some gloves. And remember, don't wear open toed shoes. And don't try this at home. Hi, my name is Abel Walker. And my name is Levi Lowell. And we're in Mr. Benner's AP Chemistry class. Today we will be making a silver tree using 4% silver nitrate solution and using heavy gauge copper wire. I'm about to pour the solution into a 600 milliliter beaker with the wire. Following this is the progression of the, re of the experiment over time. Analysis of the reaction and the soil calendar used to calculate yield will succeed the experiment. Here we go. of the silver tree reaction. We used 20 grams of silver nitrate in the solution or to make the solution and then the, this 169.868 grams is the molar mass of silver nitrate up to one mole and we found that we had 0 0.118 moles of silver nitrate in the solution and we used the number of moles to find the molarity of the solution because we knew it was 4% but we wanted to find the molarity. And we used the moles that we just found, 0 0.118 moles, divided by the volume, which was 0 0.5 liters or 500 milliliters, and we found that the molarity was 0 0.236. So when you start observing the reaction, we have the reaction taking place between silver nitrate and solid copper to form copper nitrate and solid silver in the end, which will precipitate. The first thing we wanted to do was determine how much silver in the silver nitrate is there. So we took the molar mass of silver, which is 107.868 grams per mole, and then we took the molar mass of silver nitrate, which is 169.868 grams per mole, and divided it in order to find the amount of silver in each amount of the silver nitrate, and we determined it to be 63.5% of silver. So then we knew that if we took the amount of silver nitrate we had and multiplied it by the percent of silver in silver nitrate, that we should theoretically produce 12.7 grams of solid silver. Lastly, if we take the amount of silver that we were supposed to produce, the 12.7, and multiply it by the current market price of silver, which is about 61 and a half uh, cents per gram, we should be able to produce $7.81 worth of silver. So we observe the molar mass. <laughs> 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 <laughs>